Yes, a can of Kiwi polish. Shoe polish. Natural color. 32 grams or 1 and 1 eighth ounces. If you want to know what I'm going to do with this, stick around. Welcome to High Camp. This is Max. Well, what we're going to do today is something that I haven't seen on YouTube. I've searched for it, could not find it. It may be out there, I don't know. But we're going to make fire starters out of shoe polish. And I like them a little better than the um, Vaseline and cotton balls. Those are just a little bit messy. They're cheap. A lot cheaper than these, of course, but I like these. And what we're going to do is uh, we just use a piece of aluminum foil, a can of polish, a pair of tweezers, some cotton pads, and a heating source. You could use any heat, so you can even use your camp stove to do this. So I'm going to heat up the polish and we'll go from there. I use the natural color polish because you don't have the, the black or the uh, brown stain on your fingers when you use the fire starters. So we'll be back after this melts. Okay, the polish is melted. Now all we do is just like you do if you do with wax, just take a pair of tweezers, get it on the pad, dip it, put it on the foil. I've already spilled it all over the place, of course. See if I can sop up some of my mess. Get a get another one out of it. That should have been in the can instead of all over the hot plate. Over a camp stove, we probably had a fire. <laughs> okay, that's about what I'm getting out of one. I'm getting seven fire starters out of a four dollar can of polish. These things are great. As soon as they set a little bit, I'm going to set one of them on fire and we'll see how long it takes to burn out. We're going to do the burn test. Now you take the you take the pad and we scrape it a bit. Get the fibers to pick up. And you take your, and you take your lighter and it lights like a banshee. And I start my counter. <laughs> I put my phone right in front of the camera, but can't even see the screen, so I can barely see it myself out here in the sunshine.
but they burn with a big flame. They light up like you're setting fire to gasoline. Burn a little smoky. And yeah, well, it's petroleum product, so there you go. Petroleum and wax. Just your basic paste polish. Kind of like watching paint dry, isn't it? Just about there. I'll call it when there's not much flame left. At least not enough flame to be beneficial to starting a fire. Okay, call it right there. Still burning, but I stopped the clock at. Let's see if you can even see it. At three minutes and six seconds. I think that's plenty of time to get a fire started. At least I've never had any trouble starting a fire with it. It's still going. And we're now at a good four minutes, uh, and it's still burning. she's out well not quite but good enough for us right now okay we got a three minute burn time on that a little longer it was actually going but uh, we're gonna call it good now here's the nifty part of this you get a little carrying case along with your along with your fire starters you just put them right back in the can Oh, that one's really soaked. That'll probably burn a long, long time. Put them in the can. And all seven of them actually will fit in there. I've already burnt one. Then you put the lid back on. And you stick it in your pack. Simple as that. Well, this is Max with High Camp. Until next time, see you later. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>